Hello, and welcome to the 2019 Service Unit Fall Product Manager webinar. My name is Andrea Mullen, and I'm the Director of Product Programs here at GSDSW. This recording is intended for reference only for Service Unit Fall Product Managers and Service Unit Managers. I will include questions and answers that were asked during and after my live trainings throughout this presentation. This presentation will cover the why, what, how, and when for the service unit fall product manager position. I will discuss why it is important to participate in the fall product program, this year's themes and products, what your role will be, and what to do before the start of the program. Next, I will cover how to work with the Juliets or individually registered members within your service unit, program safety, how you will gain access to and use the M2 operating system, and review the product and recognition delivery details. I will conclude with the various dates and deadlines for the girls, troops, and service units. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to volunteer within your service unit. Whether you are a service unit manager, fall product manager, or co-manager, we greatly appreciate your willingness to step forward and help the girls and troops in your areas. Volunteers such as yourself are the heart of Girl Scouts. Through your time, energy, and efforts, we are able to provide girls with experiences that enable them to learn and develop the skills they will use throughout their lifetime. On to the why. Why is the fall product program important for girls and troops? First and foremost, it introduces girls to the five financial literacy skills that will help them to succeed throughout their lives. The key to learning anything is practice, practice, practice. So it doesn't matter if a Girl Scout is brand new or has been with us for years. Participating in the fall product program allows Girl Scouts to practice these five essential skills. These skills are in turn tied to the Girl Scout Leadership Experience, or the GSLE, and its five outcomes, which is our primary focus. Through the fall product program, Girl Scouts are able to discover their values, skills, and the world around them, connect with others, and take action to make a difference. This is accomplished by allowing the girls to make the decisions within their troops, girl-led, working together as a troop, cooperative learning, and learning through both the success and failures that come with decision-making, learning by doing. By incorporating the five financial literacy skills with the GSLE, girls will learn how to engage with those around them, their family, friends, neighbors, and even strangers. This engagement fosters confidence in themselves that leads to a strong sense of self. They are also taught positive values in the form of ethical business practices, honesty, and responsibility. They are encouraged to challenge themselves, whether it is reaching a higher goal, talking with someone new, or even just participating for the first time. Taking a new step, big or small, succeed or fail, teaches the girls how to grow and learn from everything they do. In addition, they will learn how to foster healthy relationships with those around them. Girl Scouts will learn how to work with others to set a group goal, communicate with people they aren't familiar with, and express themselves through their actions. Finally, girls are given an opportunity to give back to their communities. They can raise funds for a specific project or encourage their customers to donate items to a cause. Whatever the girls and troops choose to do gives them a voice within the community and those around them. Girl Scouts will have the opportunity to earn recognitions for their efforts during the course of the program. In addition to these individual recognitions, qualified troops will earn proceeds that can be used to start off the new Girl Scout year. Qualified service units can earn proceeds to put towards service unit sponsored events and activities. To qualify for proceeds, a troop must have a troop bank account and ACH on file, two council approved leaders and troop fall product manager, a minimum of five registered Girl Scouts, and no outstanding balances due to council. Service units can qualify for their proceeds by having a current service unit bank account and ACH on file and have a good count, have a council approved service unit fall product manager. These funds will not only go toward funding the various activities and adventures troops and service units provide the girls, but can be used toward making a positive impact in their respective communities through various give back projects. During the fall product program, 
we use two different vendors who in turn provides us with two distinct program themes. Ashton Farms provides us with our nuts and chocolates, while M2 Media Group provides us with our magazines and online platform. This year, Ashton Farms has gone with the fawn as their mascot and the theme, Leap Ahead, Create Your Path. M2 Media Group has chosen the Northern White Rhino for its mascot and their theme, Be the Difference, Believe in Yourself. The Northern White Rhino is currently on the verge of extinction and using modern science and technology, scientists are attempting to save this species. This year's order card lineup will feature two changes. The Holiday Tin will feature the chocolate cover pretzels instead of caramel treasures. The second change is the Hot Cajun Crunch replacing the Dolce de Leche Owls. Items listed on the order card will also be available online for girl delivery and direct ship orders. In addition to our order card, customers can choose from additional nut and chocolate products and magazines through the girls online site and have the items directly shipped to their homes. The only items available for girl delivery will be the items on the order card. To order from the expanded lineup, a customer must choose the direct ship options. Online direct ship orders will still be counted towards a Girl Scout school and can only be accessed through the Girl Scout social media link or using the Girl Scouts online store code. Your role as the service unit fall product manager is to provide assistance to the troops in your areas before, during, and after the 2019 fall product program. This includes holding troop trainings, receiving and distributing supplies, products, and recognitions, answering troop questions, and ensuring troops meet council set deadlines, and collecting troop documents such as agreement forms and ACH forms. In addition, you will work with council to verify volunteer eligibility. Troops with outstanding balances will still have an opportunity to participate in the fall product program, but must first receive written approval from me before they can begin. In addition, they will not be eligible for troop proceeds in the tro until the troops council debt owed debt is paid. All troops and service units will be required to complete a new ACH form for the 2019 fall product program. The dates on the forms have been modified to coincide with the Girl Scout year instead of fiscal year. When completed, the ACH forms can be sent directly to me at amollen at gsdsw.org by either the troop fall product manager or by you. The originals will still need to be turned into you, the service unit fall product manager, and included with your service unit documents at the end of the fall product program. And just to note, the amollen at gsdsw.org, the only information that should be going to that email is the ACH forms. Everything else that you will submit throughout the program will go to info at gsdsw.org. Additional responsibilities will include working with the Juliets or individually registered members within your service unit. Each service unit will have an IRM troop number assigned to it. All IRMs will be placed in that number for the purposes of the fall product program. Contact customer care at info at gsdsw.org when you have identified the IRMs within your service unit to receive the troop number you will use. You will still need to hold a parent meeting to go over the general program information and hand out the necessary documents the girls will need for the program and to be responsible for distributing products and recognitions to these families. You will not, however, handle any money. Since IRMs do not have troop bank accounts, they will turn funds into a council office. The designated location for each IRM will be determined prior to the start of that girls program. The safety of our Girl Scouts is always a top priority for us. To this end, I want to cover a few general safety items that you will want to stress with your troop volunteers and parents. The first is that Girl Scouts should never ever sell alone. There should always be an adult present with the Girl Scouts when they are participating in the fall product program. This can be a parent or guardian, troop leader, friend, or other family member. Only seniors and ambassadors can work in pairs or small groups, but they must still have adult permission and guidance. It is important to remember that Girl Scouts represent a nationwide and even worldwide organization. To this end, when Girl Scouts are promoting their fall product program, they should be dressed appropriately and in their Girl Scout uniform. 
the minimum requirement would be their insignia tab and membership pins. If girls choose to go door to door, they should always be visible from the sidewalk or street and never go inside someone's home. In addition, they should restrict their sales to daytime hours and stay away from yards with dogs or that are closed off. Finally, Girl Scouts should never give their last name or phone number to a customer. If follow-up is needed, the parent's number should be used, but never use last names. Social media is always one of the pain points with the product program. Because this is a girl-led program, all online activity should be done by or led by the girl. Online sales also pose an additional safety risk. Any posts involving the fall product program may only be done through the Girl Scouts if they're allowed or parent guardians' personal pages. Business pages, groups, and sale pages, for example, are not allowed. If an individual on a public or group posts that they are not or that they are looking for fall product and the Girl Scout wishes to respond, they must use a private messenger feature. In addition, sales on sites such as eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, and OfferUp are prohibited, and this does include apps. While Girl Scouts can post a teaser post stating that fall product is coming, they may not take orders prior to the start date of Friday, September 13th. For additional information, please review the roles of the program section in your fall product guide. The first thing you will need to do is to attend a council approved fall product training. Please contact customer care to receive the list of upcoming trainings or schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. You will also need to submit a service unit fall product manager agreement form. These forms can be found at www.gsdsw.org under volunteer, training, service units, and then clicking on the service unit fall product manager link. Once you've been approved for the service unit position, you will be given the supplies and materials to begin your trainings. Next, you will need to schedule training dates and times for your troop volunteers. Just a reminder, as new troops form or existing troops begin meeting regularly, it may be necessary to add additional trainings throughout the course of the program. There is no cutoff for troops to join. If you need additional materials at any time, please contact customer care. After you've been approved by council for your position, you will be sent several emails with the training materials and documents. In addition, you will be able to pick up your service unit troop supplies from your nearest council office or staff member. Once you have received your supplies, you will need to begin assembling your troop packets. The service unit troop support specialist or service unit registrar will be able to provide you with a list of troops and registration numbers. Please familiarize yourself with the troop training PowerPoint and other materials prior to holding your trainings. In order for troop volunteers to gain access to the M2 system, you will need to submit their contact information to info at gsdsw.org using the template provided in your training materials. Once submitted, please allow at least two business days to process the documents and get the information into the M2 system. As service unit volunteers, you will have access to the M2 system to view dashboards and troop progress for your respective areas. To get started in the M2 system, you will be receiving an email invitation with the instructions on how to register. Volunteers who were, who were added during the initial upload will receive their registration emails by Friday, September 6th. For anyone added after the Thursday, August 29th upload cutoff, will receive their registration emails beginning Monday, September 9th, and can take a minimum of two business days to be added to the system. It does not matter if you have participated in the past, you will have to use the link embedded in this email in order to get started. Once you have set up your username and password, you'll be required to watch a short training video. The first time through, you will not be able to fast forward or skip the video. Once completed, you will have access to it from your dashboard at any time through the program. After you've watched the training video, you will be able to create your volunteer M2 avatar. The personalized avatar patch will automatically be sent to you after the start of the program. Once your service, from your service unit volunteer dashboard, 
you can track the progress of the troops within your service unit during the course of the program. Send messages to your volunteers to remind them of important dates and information. View and print various reports, including sales summaries, financials, and delivery tickets. If you will be serving in multiple roles during the program, you will be able to access the different dashboards by clicking on the arrow in the top corner of your screen and selecting the appropriate role. The delivery tickets link will pop up after the end of the in-person and girl delivery orders on Sunday, October 6th. At the end of the program, you will be responsible for receiving and sorting troop products and recognitions. Prior to the end of the program, you will be asked to verify the delivery location for the products and rewards. We ask that you have the items come directly to you. However, if this is not possible, you will need to make arrangements with me on an agreed upon shipping location, such as council office or other approved volunteer address. Once the items have arrived, you must verify the count of everything received and notify me when the items have arrived and if there are any issues. You can then begin sorting items by troop for pickup using the delivery ticket, tickets option in the M2 system. When the troop picks up, they must confirm the count and sign the delivery ticket. Signed tickets, along with packing slips, will be turned into me at the end of the program. It is vital that both you and the troop count every item before um, the delivery truck leaves or before the troop leaves because once they leave, we cannot make any changes to the order. Your final step as the service unit fall product manager will be to turn in all documents to me. These do need to be originals, so scans will not be accepted. ACH scans at the beginning of the season are the only things that can be scanned to me. You can drop your documents in the mail or give them to a staff member at your closest council office. Be, do, be sure to include your name and the service unit name on the envelope. They are due by Friday, December 6th. Documents include all true fall product manager agreement forms, ACH originals, delivery tickets, and packing slips from the warehouse and shipping company, signed troop delivery tickets, and IRM troop documents. If you still have recognitions that haven't arrived, please turn in everything else and the remaining documents can be turned in as they are received. During the course of this program, I will be conducting brief 15 to 20 minute trainings that will cover the various aspects of the fall product program in M2 site. These trainings will be held via Zoom, recorded, and added to our GSDSW website. The first training will cover the volunteer dashboards and some of the basic links and features available. The next two trainings will be open to the parent and guardians and will go over the Girl Scouts dashboard and storefront, followed by how to enter in-person order cards. These will be separate trainings so the parents aren't overwhelmed with information in the beginning. We will also go over how troops will be able to enter order cards in a separate training. The last three trainings will cover the various reports volunteers will need and how to enter financial transactions into the system. To register for any of these classes, please contact Customer Care. The link, registration links will also become available on the Council website after the start of the program. The following dates will also be found in your Fall Product Guides. The Service Unit Fall Product Managers will submit their troop volunteer information to Customer Care as needed throughout the program. After verifying the volunteer's eligibility with Council, you will submit the volunteer information using the template provided to customer care. Troop fall product manager trainings will be conducted by the service unit volunteers, you, as needed during the course of the program. All volunteers will have, who have been approved and submitted to customer care before Thursday, August 30th, will gain access to the M2 system on Friday, September 6th. Those submitted after the deadline will take a minimum of two business days to receive their registration email. At this time, all troop rosters should be loaded into the M2 system by council. Troop and service unit volunteers will not be responsible for adding girls into the system. If there are any issues, please contact customer care. Parent and guardians will gain access to their portion of the site on Thursday, September 12th. 
Regardless of if an individual has participated in the past, they must use the link embedded to access the system for the first time. And they will not be able to access the system until they receive that email. The official start date for the 2019 Fall Product Program is Friday, September 13th. At this time, Girl Scouts may begin taking orders in person and sharing their social media links and sending emails. Once the Fall Product Program begins, Girl Scouts will not be allowed to change troops. The only girls who would be added to a troop are girls transferring from another council or that are new to Girl Scouts entirely. Troop Fall Product Managers will be able to assist parents in entering in-person girl order cards beginning Friday, October 4th. Parents will be able to enter these orders at any time during the program. The final day for in-person and girl delivery orders is Sunday, October 6th. Direct ship orders will continue to be accepted. Troop Fall Product Managers will have to, until Tuesday, October 8th to update a Girl Scouts paper order card. After this date, the, order car, the council order will be placed with Ashton Farms and so no changes can be made to the in-person portion of a Girl Scouts order. Orders received after the date can only be entered as a direct ship order. Products should begin arriving to the service units the week of Monday, October 21st. Please be sure to provide to get these products to your troops as quickly as possible. The final day of the program will be Sunday, November 10th. The M2 system will shut off automatically on this date. Parents will be able to make Girl, Girl Scout recognition choices as needed, as needed throughout the course of the program. These choices include t-shirt sizes or a choice between two items. The M2 system will send emails to the parent or guardians anytime a choice needs to be made. If no choice has been made, after several emails, then the Troop Fall Product Manager will receive an email notification. All reward choices are due into the M2 system no later than Tuesday, November 12th. No changes will be made after this date since the order will be submitted to their, to their respective companies. All girl money is due to the Troop no later than Friday, November 15th. This is a hard set council deadline. Troops are more than welcome to set earlier dates for their troops as they see fit. Troop fall product managers will then submit girl delinquent reports to council for any girl who still has an outstanding balance by the Friday, November 15th. These reports must be complete or they will not be accepted. Late reports will also not be accepted. The troop will still be responsible for any funds owed if a completed report is not turned in by Monday, November 18th. Reports can be found on GSDSW website after November 1st. Recognitions will begin arriving to the service unit at the end of November through the beginning of December. Council will ACH the troop accounts on Tuesday, December 3rd. Finally, service unit, all service unit documents will be due to me Friday, November 6th. If you need help with the M2 site, please contact Fall Product Program M2 Customer Care Team at 800-372-8520 or question at gsnutsandmags.com. If you need assistance with troops or the Fall Product Program on the council side, contact your service unit troop support specialist or our customer care team for assistance. Some of the general questions that I had involve the ACH forms. Yes, all troops and service units will need to complete a new ACH form. Um, they have been, the ones from this last cookie season only have 2019 on them. And they, so they have been updated to go from fall product 2019 to cookies 2020. So I need everybody to submit new forms. Again, they, those are the only forms that can be submitted directly to me at a mullen, that's M-U-L-L-I-N, at gsdsw.org. Everything else that you will submit from um, agreement forms to uh, templates all, uh, and girl delinquent reports from the troops 
will be submitted to info at gsdsw.org. Please also direct all questions to info at gsdsw.org. That is our customer care team. They will have the answers to pretty much every question that comes in. And if they are not able to answer, then they will direct the questions to me. Um, the just-in-time training schedule was just released. So um, please contact info to get the registration email or the registration link for those trainings. If you, if you go to our website after the beginning of the program, you should also be able to find the registration links there. Rewards and samples was another question that I had lots of. Um, I was hoping to have them available for the service units to use at their tr trainings. Um, it does not look like my supplies have come in. Um, but as soon as I have rewards to show and samples, I will be sure to let the service unit fall product managers know. Next steps. So if you are watching this training and did not attend a training with me directly, you will still need to contact info at gsdsw.org um, to find out what your next steps will be. Um, because you do have to attend the training in person. Well, live with me, I guess is the right word, um, versus just watching this. This is meant to be a informational webinar only. Troop report, uh, ACH reports are due at the beginning of, their prog uh, of the respective troops program. The service unit ACH forms will be due by the end of the program. So November 10th is the last day for Girl Scout um, orders, and that will be the date for ACH reports for the service units only. And the last question that I had several of are products and documents. If you have been approved for your service unit product, fall product manager position, you've attended the trainings, you will be receiving an email from me, and it's actually several emails because of the size of the documents, that will contain the PowerPoints and guides that you will need. You will also receive a team app um, registration email. That is where I will be able to pro provide updates and answer questions on a little bit more real-time basis. Um, and you will also be able to pick up the troops documents from your nearest uh, council office. For example, for those in El Paso, it'd be the El Paso office. Las Cruces is the Las Cruces office. Um, those up in the grant area, uh, Silver City Deming would be going towards um, Annette at Silver City. If you need more supplies, contact info at gsdsw.org and we will get you additional materials. Um, I had to estimate how, many mater how much materials to send to each area based on last year's numbers um, and this year's current numbers. So you may not have enough materials, but I do have the rest of them here in El Paso. I just need to know who I'm sending it to and how many. Um, for the more remote areas, contact the staff member in the council office nearest you to, uh, arrange, to see if you can arrange a midway point to pick up your supplies. Other than that, if you have any other questions, again, info at gsdsw.org, please use that email. Um, technical questions during the course of the sale, login information, you messed up an online order, anything like that will need to go to the M2 customer care team. Um, our customer care team at, at Council can only answer questions on the Council side of the program not the technical side. Thank you very much for listening to this training and good luck with your program.